the club paid us a lot of money, the players receive money, me receive money. You understand? Not to be, to find excuse and uh, don't have spirit or, or, or don't show the sense of belongings, or don't show uh, sense of responsibility, because... <sighs> what can I say? What can I say, people? Tottenham, Tottenham, Tottenham. You did it again. You did it again. It looks like the big man, Antonio Conte, has finally broken, fam. Antonio Conte has finally broken. Thank you, Tottenham. Thank you for taking this great, great 3-5-2 superstar of a coach, of a manager, and turn him into the gutter, into the trench and art London, fam. I can't understand why you do that to, 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 to Antonio Conte. But Spurs will always be Spurs. What was that today? What the hell was that? <sighs> People, before we go any further, make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe right down there for brand new. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Referee, blow the whistle. Let's go. Listen, people, I know you guys heard that just now. I know you guys heard that. Just a snippet of what Antonio Conte said today. And it was horrendous of what he said. He said about the players, what he said about the, the, the owner and how the owner has won in 20 years. Come on. He has been broken, fam. We know how Antonio Conte is when it's not going his way. But my word, I didn't believe you would capitulate like that. I didn't know Tottenham would capitulate. And I didn't know Antonio Conte would go in on them like that. Damn. Damn, 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 and more damn, fam. More goddamn. Like, what the hell? I can't begin to tell you how sloppy Tottenham was today. The goals that they conceded, fam. The goals that they conceded. Hmm. What will happen now? Antonio Conte should be leaving. We'll be leaving. Within the next 24 to 40 hours, we should see an email or a tweet that says Antonio Conte will be leaving Tottenham with immediate effect. We know that for sure. He's not leaving without his money. That's a different situation. What will happen to Harry Kane? That's been the question that I've been asking for ten for five years now. Three at best. What has been what should happen to Harry Kane? Last time he signed a six-year contract. It's going to the end of it next year. What will happen to Harry Kane? Will he leave? And if he leaves, where will he go? Manchester United will not. I refuse to tell you that Manchester United should not be paying over 100 million, over 70 million for Harry Kane. Point blank and period. Give me 70 million, I'll pay for it every day. But if I, if, if Daniel leave, th Daniel leave is thinking bad, Come tell me boy, you want to be in fire again and swamp you. We're going to chat fire. We're going to chat fire. Are you mad? Are you mad? Tanam, you were meant to be the lead, the, the title contenders this year. You had the Antonio Conte. You had the Harry, you had the Harry Kane. You had the Hung Song Min. You had Richarlison. You had Ben Suma, Ben Sima, Ben Zuma. That's what I want to name. You had Ben Tankor. Kulisevsky. Come on, man! You had so you guys supposed to have the you guys were supposed to have the best transfer market last year. Two players in every position, key players in every, especially starting lineup. Oh my God! Look at you now, fam. Oh my God! Oh my God! My predictions at the night, first part of the season, I saw to you guys and said, "Yo, Tottenham will win the championship." Oh. Far cry from that, fam. Fucking far cry from that. And then you have Chelsea. The bottom of the bottom, Chelsea. Still sitting 10th place. Chelsea. What the heck is going on with Chelsea, people? You guys bought 500, 000, 500 million players in the summer. And then you buy another 500 million players in, in January. And still. And still. Still, you can't do anything. What's going on with you, Chelsea? You got rid of uh, 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 the coach Graham, uh, and brought in Graham Potter. You got rid of, got rid of the coach that brought you the, the, the championship, the, 
the, the Champions League and bringing Graham Potter and Graham Potter can't win a game same, even two, two of the last games Leicester I think and, and Leeds draw this game against Everton Parry Everton Ever, got Ellis Sims run on Colabal like mom baby Everton oh man you guys are sickening 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 i don't think i forgot about you guys now you arsenal fuckers you arsenal fuckers i thought about oh ten hag put judge on your side listen ten hag not had nothing to do with you dropping out of the the, the, the europa league nothing it was god gabriel martinelli it was 11 players that michael had put out on the field it wasn't ten hag who tell um the arsenal right back to lose him legs because the 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 sporting is one guy she fought him bumbo clad split him in a two split so film season done and then i don't know what happened i never see the incident but i heard i heard i heard that saliba got injured too we find out that he's going to be injured for seven weeks ah then how fault how's that then how fault how the hell is that thing? <laughs> what you man you know i'm telling you right now you know guys you man better win this blood clot league, you know. Because we make Man City run past your bumbo car. You're not going to hear the end of it, you know, brother. Yo, you're not going to hear the end of it, you know. So you man better blood clot win this league, you know. Remember me tell you, you better win this blood clot. You better win this league. You better win this league, fam. <sighs> and to the meet of the matter, people. Manchester United. Life after Casimiro. We're going to be playing four games without Casimiro, which starts tomorrow. Ah. Starts at Fulham. We won't be playing in the Premier League, we'll play in the FA Cup quarterfinals, just like the female team. We'll be playing in the quarterfinals tomorrow as well, because you know, big teams play big games. And in the latter part of the season, the big games are where the big teams show up. And it just so happened that only two out of the top six in a, in a, in a day, um quarterfinals man city and man united one dress ah uh, yes i didn't good anyway but yeah we'll be playing fulham tomorrow so hoping for a decent performance but without casimir it's going to be looking like it's fred sabitza and Bruno in the midfield which is good enough against palfina Pereira, and whoever else but it's going to be tough it's going to be, that game's going to be won and lost in the midfield I think we'll have Varane and Martinez back in the defence. But it's going to be a tough game. But it's going to be at home. Bigger pitch. Crowd. Just go out there and stamp your class on these man. Go out there and stop your class on these man. It's simple as that. Go out there, stamp your class, get three goals, relax, and on to the, the international scene. Please hurry up. Because... Can't stress it out, Casimiro. We have this game and three other games without Casimiro. Let's manage this one and then manage the, manage the other thing. Let's go, people. We can win this. We have the opportunity to win a treble. A treble. Cup, cup, cup. Let's go, people. Let's go. Looking forward to the game tomorrow. It's going to be tough, but listen, we can do this. We can freaking do this, people. We can definitely do this. Let's go. Let us go. I'm going to play ball in the morning, get up, play ball, come back, shower, and ready up for the game, people. You, me, let's go. Make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe right down there for brand new. Bless yourself. Bless up others. Manas.